Hello YouTube Nation, this is Ron from RTR Gearheads. Um, just about to hit a real quick update on the Trans Am. Um, so if you stay tuned, we'll go ahead and give you guys some information and hope you guys will subscribe and let us know what you think. Um, again, like I said in the video coming up, that more on this video that we're trying to set on the LS, but if it comes down to it, we're gonna go back to just a normal naturally aspirated motor, carburetor, but be with you in a second. The Trans Am is actually sitting where it's gonna be um, until the swap is finished. Like I said before, we're really hoping for the LS swap, looking for the motor and trans right now. Uh, if not, we do have the nice 383 stroker that's sitting in the back. Either way, the transmission and motor has to come out. The wiring harness, as I mentioned before, it's 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 sporadic hit or miss under the hood with the wiring harness um from the different owners that the car had so regardless we're gonna be probably tomorrow getting under the hood and we'll start actually pulling the harness off of the engine because regardless when that motor and transmission come out i'll get a new under hood harness if we're staying with the carbureted motor or i've got a thin out and figure out sensors and everything when we do the LS swap. All right, again, this is Ron from RTR Gearheads. Thanks for watching.